Welcome back to some more Pikmin. Now that I have the blue Pikmin, I can return to the Forest of Hope and finally finish out this entire area by getting the three remaining ship parts in here. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. It is day five in Pikmin land. Let's go ahead and get started. Ah, it's nice to see three onions landing. I'm going to begin by withdrawing all of my blues, which are 40 of them. It's less than I would have liked because what happened was a lot of the blue Pikmin that I got in the last episode remained as seeds buried. So I still need to go pick them in that level. So I only have 40. That's okay. I can make this work. Let me try to cut some grass here. See if I can get some nectar, get some flowers going. There we go. Got one little drop, two little drops. Good. All right. Looks like everybody's flowered up. Let's go. So when you come back here, near this bridge are going to be some shear grubs. Some female and male shear grubs. So let me just quickly try to blast through all of them. A little bit of an overkill, but rather safe than sorry. Remember the female ones, which are the pale looking ones, they're harmless. It's only the purple male shear grubs that can damage you. All right. Let me go ahead and split these guys up. I'm gonna grab my blue Pikmin. And, ah, there's a survivor. That's okay, not a big deal. Let me put a few of them here to start building this bridge. Only five is necessary. These little enemies here, they are called wog poles. You can pretty much ignore them. They don't do anything. And then, yeah, let me do, let me do all those there. I'm going to keep 10 blue Pikmin. Let me make my way over this way. Let me sneak up behind this guy, the spotty Bulborb, and attack with a swarm. Very good. There is another area that I can explore now that I have the blue Pikmin. It involves a little bit of water. So I kind of hate this part because there's a little bridge here and it's so difficult to get all your Pikmin across, but I'll figure this out. Don't worry. Let me split up the group here. Let me grab my blue Pikmin. The reason I kept 10 of them is because I need 10 to move this box. So you can actually glitch this and you can, you can do it earlier with yellow Pikmin, but I like to play the game as intended, of course. I like to get the overhead view for this part, and I like to ferry a few Pikmin at a time. If I try to take the whole group, it's high risk that they'll kind of fall over the edge into the water. So I try to center them here as much as possible, and then I'll use the swarm command to march them forward so that they get a little narrower. There you go. Let me leave them here, and let me go grab the other group. If you're a better player than me, you can definitely get everybody across in one go, but... Since I'm doing a no death run, I don't want to take any risks. So yeah, let's just go. All right, everybody's safe. Perfect. And now just the blue ones. If they fall off the side, not a big deal because obviously they can swim. This part can be very dangerous. There is a fierce opponent here, the Burrowing Snagret. There are three of them, but you only need to kill one of them, which holds a ship part. The one here at the very back, this is the one you want to kill. So they'll come out and try to peck at your Pikmin. Just want to move them away by doing the swarm command. Every once in a while, they'll get stuck trying to leave the ground. Like right here, that's your cue to swarm on them as much as you can. There you go. Pikmin are attacking. Excellent. I was able to one cycle him. Sometimes you have to do that a couple of times. It's the Geiger counter. Every spaceship needs one of these, but I don't actually know what it's for. Every once in a while, it goes wild and lets out a lot of noise, but I never pay much attention to it. So it doesn't do me much good. I really should read the manual one of these days. Yes, so a Geiger counter measures radiation. So hopefully Olimar can wise up to that. I'm not gonna carry it back just yet. I'm gonna come down here. There's another iridescent flint beetle. Again, I usually don't bother with them. They're harmless. Let me take my blue Pikmin. And let me 
tossed them up there. Kind of annoying. I ran into the red ones. Ah, I keep doing it like an idiot. I just want the blue ones up here. Okay, good. And now with the reds, let me take them back. Gonna use them to help finish the bridge here. I just want to make sure they don't fall off the side. So the far side Pikmin just finished their bridge. I guess I should have put more than five here. Should have split it up a little more evenly. That's okay. Not a big deal. I'm making good time. All right. So I am going to get the blue Pikmin. I want to put them... Oh, God. See, this is why I hate the iridescent flint beetle. Your Pikmin will chase it. All right. It goes away after a while anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Let me grab all of these. I'm going to send them up to the ledge where the other ones are that I left. I'll come back and deal with them momentarily, but for now, I want to use the red Pikmin to get another ship part on the other side of these two bridges that I built. Let me get the top-down view. Sometimes they can go over the edge of the bridge if the army's too wide, so I just want to make sure I don't want them to fall and drown. So here's the ship part. I found my Sagittarius. My son gave this to me as a present. It brings to mind visions of my son back home on planet Hokatate. Oh, to be back there right now. Let me get everybody here carrying this back. 30 Pikmin can carry it, so I have a few of them left here. That's all right. There are plenty of things along the way to carry back. There are a few pellet posies here. There are all those sheer grub bodies. So I'll have the Pikmin work on that, I guess. Might as well. So yeah, if you do the swarm command and they're unable to latch onto something, they'll let out that sigh and get disappointed. It wastes a little bit of time, but it doesn't matter really. Make sure I'm cleaning up this area perfectly here. Sagittarius, this was a gift from my son. He must be very worried about me. I have now recovered 10 out of 30 parts. If I can find just two more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. All right, I think that's everything for now. I'm gonna go around and get those blue Pikmin to start working. I need to get that part that the burrowing snag rats dropped. Come on, Olimar. Get up there across the bridge. So I'm going to skirt the periphery here because there are two more of these here. So the reason I want to use the blue Pikmin is because what they'll do is they'll take a shorter route to the spaceship by going through the water. That way I don't have to worry about the other two snag rats here. Because they're going to avoid them completely. We get all these pellets taken care of. Alright, excellent. Yeah, so you can see they'll jump out here, go through the water. And that's much better. If I had done the red Pikmin, they would have tried to avoid the water, obviously. So they would go through these Snagrets and they would have gotten killed. Not good. This works out very well for me. You muster up all the reds again. I'm gonna go ahead and deposit them. It's 140.
Geiger counter. This noisy gauge is always letting off spontaneous clicks and buzzes. It can be kind of annoying. I have now recovered 11 out of 30 parts. If I can find just one more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Okay, great. Ah, you know what? I should not have deposited those reds because now I have to pick these Pikmin. Ah, mistake on my part. That's okay. That's okay. I'm making good time, so I have time to wait for these sprouts. Yeah, and I'm gonna have to pick five more here. Dang it, I forgot. So yeah, generally, you want to make sure that you always have 100 Pikmin on the field, so whenever they carry things back, the new Pikmin go into the onion. And they don't turn into little sprouts that you have to pick, but just a small mistake on my part. Okay. So with all this, let me grab all the blues. And there is a gate here on the water. Gonna have them start working on it. Let me grab some yellows as well because I am going to need some bomb rocks. So just four is what I need. Let me bring them over here to grab some of the rocks. Sometimes they take a while to pick up these rocks. Let me go ahead and muster everybody. I'm going to pick up another three Pikmin here just to make sure that I'm at a full 100. All right, let's go. I heard the little jingle of the gates breaking down, so we're ready to move on. But let me toss everybody up here. Ah, I hate that thing. Yeah, I know I mentioned it before, but if you're too close to the ledge, they just bounce back at you. So you need a little bit of distance. Okay. Grab my blues. Let me leave them here so it's not as chaotic up here. I just need the the bomb Pikmin for this gate. Yeah, so I only need four. You can see a big enemy behind there. Looks scary. I promise he's not so bad though. In fact, you don't even need to fight him. He's guarding a ship part, and you can kind of stealthily go behind him, but obviously I want to fight him. It's fun. Let me see if anybody needs some nectar here. Okay. So the way this armored cannon beetle works is he sucks in air, and then he throws out a boulder. But if you throw Pikmin at him, you prevent him from sucking in air, he gets clogged up, and then he opens up his behind like this, and you can just throw a bunch of Pikmin on it. And they'll start doing a ton of damage on him. Let me recall everybody. So yeah, as long as you're... Just always be throwing Pikmin on his face when he's trying to suck in air and you'll get him clogged up. It's actually pretty easy. Most of the time you one cycle him. This time it took me two cycles for whatever reason. And there is the final ship part in the Forest of Hope. At last, my radiation canopy. This turns the harsh radiation of deep space into soft infrared rays that are easy on the body. I'll sleep like a baby once I get this back to the ship. And then I can carry back some of these bodies as well. I'm gonna use mainly the blue Pikmin to carry back this so that they can swell their numbers. I have the least blue Pikmin out of all three colors. I think it's pretty intuitive, but I don't think I ever mentioned, but the way the Pikmin decide which color gets the prize is whatever the biggest number carrying it back is. So for example, if you're carrying a 10 pellet and you have 6 yellow Pikmin and 4 red Pikmin carrying it, you're going to take it to the yellow onion.
Radiation canopy. I'll have to inspect it later to make sure it hasn't cracked. I'll be in for even more trouble if I have any radiation leaks. I have recovered 12 out of 30 parts, increasing the dolphin's capabilities. My search can now cover a wider area. And there you go, another successful day. Perfectly timed, of course. I'm missing one Pikmin somewhere. Let me look at the map. Okay, so he's just right there through the gate. There he is. All right. Just that one carrying back the pellet. All 100 accounted for. Let me deposit them. Might as well. And all the reds. There you go. Man, it's so satisfying when things are perfectly timed. Five days since impact, I have managed to increase the range of my dolphin. Looking from the dolphin's portal as it launches ever higher into the sky, I see a vast wetland in the deepest parts of the forest. I shall call it the distant spring. I can begin my exploration of it tomorrow. For now, I must sleep. So there you go. We sprouted 84 new Pikmin today, bringing our total to 436. We have 168 red, 163 yellow, 105 blue. 12 ship parts with 18 remaining and 25 days left. So I do hope you are enjoying the playthrough. We are officially done with the Forest of Hope. I got every ship part in here. No need to ever come back. However, we opened up this new area, the Distant Spring. And that is where I will meet you for the next episode. If you're enjoying the series, leave a like on the video. It helps to bring it out to other people so they too can enjoy this. And subscribe to the channel. It keeps me motivated when I know that people are enjoying my videos. Take care and see you next time. Thanks for stopping by the Renaissance Gaming Monastery. I hope you join our community on Discord and Twitter. These videos are produced with a lot of hard work and love. If you think they're worth a dollar, I'd be grateful for your contribution. You can send a thanks donation or become a member on YouTube. You can also support through PayPal, Patreon, or even with cryptocurrency. All links are in the description. See you on the next video.